Toy Story as a kid, I remember that I always thought that my toys were still alive. I would always sometimes close and open the door just to see if they did. They never did. So then I grew up and realized that there was something more interesting in that movie than the toys coming alive. CGI, which stands for Computer Generated Imagery, which is used as a visual effects for video games, films, and animation. It boosts the effects at a much higher rate than normal uh, by creating new images that normal, image, uh, that normal cameras can't make. The first film to use CGI is Westworld in 1973. Uh, they, this clip is called the Gunslinger's Vision, where they use multiple frames and colors and combine it all in a computer. This clip you see right now, can, in 1973, it took them days to create this, but now they can take a simple visual effects student, 20 minutes. Back in 1973, uh, CGI was created in 1973, but it didn't start to attract attention until 1995, when Pixar started using it. Since there are more animated films prominent in the last few years, it has increased the usage of CGI. Due to the constant usage of CGI, it has impacted three main things. The human appearance in actors and film, animation by improving its appearance over time, and traditional effects by surpassing it with, with convenience and high quality. Ever since CGI attracted views, many film stars used some of them used it to create amazing images that we've never seen before. Other used it to alter the actors' appearances. Some were good and some were bad. One example of a film that used CGI in this way is Avatar in 2009. Uh, Avatar isn't the great, greatest film of all time, but it's still made its way on the wall of fame because of uh, the usage of CGI was a large part of the film. They, the, almost every scene in that movie was computer generated. Uh, the editors in that film took the real movements of the actors and altered it into the computer to create an image. Uh, <laughs> one example of a film that did that you see that in a bad way was just speaking in 2017. There was there was a picture of Henry Cavill that had CGI around his face. Uh, and the story behind that was that he was growing his beard for Ro Mission Impossible Rogue Mission, but he had to reshoot Justice League without the beard. So so he chose to reshoot Justice League with the beard. And instead of leaving it on in the film, the editors decided to use CGI to cover, cover it up. Using CGI, uh, us, using CGI, a great tool for film just to cover up the gear can make the film look less appealing to the eye. CGI also impacted animation. And animation is created by multiple frames of sketches, drawings, or even clay figures. This was the original method before CGI. And most films have forgotten the original ways of CGI, of animation, of original animation, and has used the new improved ways of CGI. Since CGI based the views of a certain movie, so the film industry neglected the original animation and welcomed CGI. This transition has impacted many animators, especially claymation animators. Uh, 
fantasy studios such as Armin has, has amazing movies such as Walls and Garment and Sean Steve and has made their place in, in the Wall of Fame due to the time and effort Armin has put into them. Not only did it impact Armin, but it also impacted Pixar with its first movie, Toy Story, which was released in 1995. Toy Story was the very first animated film to use CGI. When it was released in 1995, it didn't look like it was drawn with sketches and pencil. It looked like it looked smoother than drawings, like it was accurately drawn in a computer. Model. CGI also impacted traditional effects in a significant way. It increased the number of people working in computers, and it also decreased the number of people working in traditional effects, such as camera work and lighting. A traditional effects is the hardest way to create effects because you are always limited by the tools. One example of a film that used traditional effects is the original Star Wars trilogy. Lucas Films used hand-drawn paintings to cover up uh, unnecessary or empty spaces in the camera. They, they called these paintings matte paintings. They also impacted many film animators because when they, when, during the time film animators started with drawing up animation with pen and pencil, but after the transition to CGI, they started learning how to use, how to animate with the, the computer. One person that went through this transition is Nick Danico, one of the visual effects artists for Avatar. He said in an interview, and I quote, I started out my career with traditional animation, stop motion, and computer graphics such as Photoshop and Illustrator. But when I first started, uh, when I first watched Bugs Life, I remember cutting down all my options down to uh, 3D animation. CGI has been introduced for 50 years now, but in the last 10 years it has impacted many things. First, it impacted traditional effects workers by transitioning them from uh, sketches, drawings, animation to computer animation. And second, it impacted animation by from claymation to computer animation. And lastly, it impacted the human appearance and gave many opinions of how we use CGI. Since it impacted film in many ways, did it impact how did it impact the viewers? Does it create conflict between us or does it evolve our technology? Thank you. Henry Cavill in Justice League with CGI around his face. 
And in the bottom photo is Henry Cavill in Batman vs. Superman without CGI. Uh, the story behind it is that Henry Cavill was growing his beard for Mission Impossible Road Vision, but he had to reshoot Justice League without the beard. So he decided to reshoot Justice League with the beard, but instead of leaving it on in the film, the editors used CGI to prop it up. Using CGI, a great tool for film, just to take away a beard, can make a film look less appealing to the eye. Animation is created by multiple frames of drawings, sketches, or even clay figures. This was the original method before CGI, and most films forgotten the original way because of, C of new and improved ways of CGI. Since CGI raises the views by a certain amount, uh, many film industries neglected the original ways of animation and welcomed CGI. The transition from original animation to CGI has impacted many animators, such as uh, especially claymation anim animators. Uh, claymation studios such as Artman have movies such as Lost and Robert and Shaun the Sheep, and those movies have made their place on the wall of fame because of all the time and effort Artman has put into them. Not only did it impact Artman, but it also impacted Pixar with his first movie, Toy Story. This, Toy Story was the very first animated film to use CGI, and it was, when it was released in 1995, it didn't, look, it didn't look like it was animated with sketches. It looked like it was smoother, and it was accurately drawn in a computer. CGI also impacted traditional effects in a significant way. It increased the amount of people working in computers, but it also decreased the amount of people working in traditional <coughs> effects, such as camera work and light, lighting. Traditional effects is the hardest way to create effects in film because you are always limited by your tools. One example of a film that used traditional effects is Star Wars, is the original Star Wars trilogy. Lucasfilm used uh, hand-drawn paintings to fill in empty and unnecessary space in the frame, and these paintings were called matte paintings. Uh, it, CGI also impacted film animators, so instead of them learning how to animate with pen and pencil, they had to learn how to animate on a computer using a monitor and a mouse. One of the person that you, that was in this transition was Nick Damico, and he said in an uh, interview, and I quote, uh, I started my career with traditional effects, stop motion, and computer uh, computer graphics such as Photoshop and Illustrator, but when I first saw Bugs Life, another Pixar movie, I remember cutting down all my options of 3D animation. CGI has been introduced in the last 15 years, but it has impacted the film in the last 10 years. First, it impacted traditional effects workers by transitioning them from uh, original animation to computer animation, and it also shifted from claymation to computer animation, and lastly, it impacted the human appearance by giving many people many opinions about the constant usage of CGI. Since CGI impacted film in many ways, how did it impact the viewers? Did it create more conflict between us, or did it uh, evolve our technology? Thank you.